right, there we go. Let's pull up the main channel though, so I can tweet this out. But before I do, let me just say up front, hello everybody, Drew here for Drewdag Games, back here playing WWE 2K22 Universe Mode for the first time here on the channel, because I can't fucking sleep. And I just got done setting it up with the intent to do this, and I went, fuck it, I can't sleep, I might as well just do this now. So let me tweet this out right now first. Get off my TV, you stupid fucking that. Jesus Christ. Alright, there we go. So, with that in mind... What we are up to here is... My personal... Well... Not personal, the universe mode that I'm going to be sharing with you guys on stream here. So, <coughs> as sorry, as you guys can see, and uh, you guys ought to be seeing this on YouTube uh, when I re-upload this later in like a three or four days or something like that, that... Uh, I have very specific shows here, and as you can see, we got Raw here, then coming up next is NXT, with the original logo, not the 2.0 crap, AEW Dynamite on Thursday, and then the next day is Ring of Honor, but I'll show you exactly what's going on here, so that anyone on YouTube or watching this after the fact can uh, actually see the calendar, so we got Raw, and it on Monday, NXT Tuesday, Wednesday is for AEW Dynamite, Thursday is Ring of Honor, SmackDown on Friday. And do not uh, blink or huh, adjust your eyes, you are seeing New Japan on Saturdays. Now currently I don't have anything planned for pay-per-views at the moment for uh, anything outside WWE. And then currently NXT in your house and then another WWE pay-per-view. So what my plan currently is, is to play this way, guys, and that's, uh, pretend, it, well, since this is my universe, I'm gonna let WWE run its course and do its thing, and whatever, I don't give a shit. Same thing goes for NXT. <coughs> and we're gonna watch those matches and enjoy them. For... For whatever the game has WWE doing. I'm only going to be controlling one show as a booker though. To a point. And that's going to be. And that's going to be Ring of Honor. So. With, with that in mind however. And I have a personal wrestler. Who represents me and whatnot, And you'll know him by his last name. At that point, to a certain degree. At least I think you will. If not, then I'll explain it as needed. But as it currently stands, the way I'm going to approach booking Ring of Honor, if like AEW or New Japan or wherever want to borrow anyone that I have signed to Ring of Honor, they're welcome to do so. I'm willing to work with uh, huh, WWE... AEW, and New Japan with talent, and vice versa. So with that in mind, we will see what we got in store to watch on Monday Night Raw here. So we got Seth Rollins versus Austin Theory. Then we got the Mysterios, Dominic and Ray versus the Dirty Dogs, I guess is their name, Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. <coughs> Third match, we got RK Bro versus Otis and Che Gable. Tommaso Ciampa versus Shelton Benjamin. Becky Lynch teaming with one half of Judgment Day, 
Damian Priest against Tamina and one half of the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins. The other half of Judgment Day, Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens. Dominic Dijakovic versus Edge. And a tag team women's, or should, or should I say a women's tag team match. The tag team champions, Rhea Ripley and Nikki Ash. Yay. Against Bianca Belair and Asuka. And the main event. Which looks like a number one contenders match to me. Between WWE Champion Brock Lesnar. The Miz. Bobby Lashley. And the phenomenal AJ Styles. That ought to be an interesting match. So let's get started with watching Raw here. <coughs> and yes, I do have the show intros turned off as well, so. As well as the music turned off, too. So I don't get in trouble. And like I said, we're going to watch. And any match that I'm booked in, or the game books me in, or whatever, or whatever happens with my character, I'm actually going to play those. As well as any of my personal custom characters that I personally created, and not downloaded, so... Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmasked a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxon, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! So he's been called the King Slayer, right? The Architect, the Messiah. How about we give him a new nickname, Mr. Delusional? <laughs> oh, bite your, bite your tongue, Cole. There is nothing delusional about this man. Seth Rollins has earned everything. It just happens that everyone else is jealous. Multiple Universal and WWE title reigns. He's won the Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank. You know, there was a time when Seth Rollins used to feed off the energy of the WWE Universe. Now he's just happy celebrating all of his accomplishments alone. And his opponent, Austin Theory. Impressive young talent, the future of this business. Incredibly skilled, but also incredibly narcissistic. It's okay to be narcissistic when you back it up. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Well, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae have been doing a very good job of warping this young man's mind. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Austin Theory has never been happier or more fulfilled. Austin Theory has reached all new heights under the guidance of the way. Right now, Theory needs to carve his own path. Except for his mentor is signed in Ring of Honor to me now, so fuck off. Such a rising young athlete here in Austin Theory, one of the most naturally gifted stars in WWE today. He is big, he is strong, and he is vicious. So long as that and Seth is already down. Seth is getting the best of the architect. Wow, look at that agility. Come on. And a shoulder in the air. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Ridiculous standing shooting star. 
Corey, there's plenty of things I you can say about what makes Seth Rollins, Rollins an exceptional superstar, but what stands out to you in this match? For me, Seth's standout feature is his in-ring genius. When everyone else is playing checkers, Rollins is playing chess. I'm sure Seth's developed a unique, foolproof strategy for this matchup, and you know he's putting it into action when he's making deliberate, targeted attacks on his opponent. Wow, what agility! Superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. And finds a counter. You know, Seth is seriously getting his, uh, getting his ass kicked here. From behind. Back suplex. That attack will just put Rollins in an even more foul mood. Yeah, Theory is putting his natural talent to good use with that. Heading Get some glasses, Theory. Into the turnbuckle. Matt holds back Theory's attack. Kick okay. right to the midsection. Kick right to the back. Seth of the countered way. whatever the signature was. from Rollins. If this lands, it's over. Good Lord, Phoenix Splash. One of the most impressive moves I've ever seen. Here's the call. One, two, one. Oh, he kicked out. He thought he had it. Now Seth can do his signature here. Oh, I've caught him. Uh-oh, wait a minute. And wait a minute. It goes. What a brilliantly ruthless maneuver from Rollins. Enough already. He turns it around. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Hold on a second. You might be finding a submission hold here. What a unique submission maneuver here. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Look at that. Boom. Nice. Seth got the win anyway after the slow start. All right. Here is your winner. If memory serves me correctly, I believe we don't have any NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, so I'm going to have to wind up booking that anyway for NXT. Uh, which is the next show. So we're going to have to book, I guess, the top two women's tag teams. And, I'll, and I guess I'll, if I can look at power rankings, I'll have to do that, I suppose. <coughs> the Mysterios versus whatever the fuck their name is. And the Mysterios are getting jumped. Okay. Oh, look at this! This match may well, I guess that's why all. they're called Dirty Dogs, huh? And we're on our way in this tag team matchup. There's a pecking order in the tag team division, and one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top. Jeez. Um, Dominic's going to start. That's Bobby Roode. Thunderous shot to the back. Oh, it's Robert Roode, I should say. With a hammer and sickle. I, I know him as Bobby Roode. So. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh. man. Oh, 
his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Should have gone for a pin. Rude gets fended off. Tag made. Down across the neck. Oh, look at this. Set him up. Oh, and then for the DDT. Up to the top rope now. From the clouds. And shoulders are down. Oh, right out in one. He clearly has yeah, no intention of staying down. There. Oh my god. The moonsault takes another trip to the skies. And it pays off once again. He's got him scouted. And he goes for the pin. He forces a break before the count of two. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. He is delivering elbow after elbow. He's burying elbows in the midsection. What are you doing, Rude? I guess he saw a mouse. I don't know. <laughs> Ray Mysterio was on the outside. He got up on the second turnbuckle because I guess he saw a mouse in there. I don't know. <laughs> in comes Dolph Ziggler. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Signature, Ray. Ooh, DDT delivered. Reaches his partner for the tag. Okay. Or don't. Getting set up for something in the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Right on cue. Dolph reverses. Ejected from the ring. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, ooh, he is just reeling from that offense. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Great oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, drop kick to the spine. See, he is feeling it now. Charlotte suplex. Two. 
He slides back into the ring. Drop kick right on point. Although a count out would have made the show Tag go a little faster. Action. Just saying. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment. Rude gets fed. My intent up. is to try to get away. through uh hopefully the entire week of shows in this one stream here before I have to start getting ready for work. But I will call it by two o'clock in the morning my time here, and it's about twelve thirty-two oh right now. So at most, just under He's two hours, in theory. So like an hour and 45 yeah. minutes in the playing. Is what I got to work with her. And this is <coughs> One, two, three. No, he kicked out. He just kicked out by a fraction mm -hmm. of a second. Gets tagged in. And there's the tag, Dolph Ziggler into the ring. Face Buster! Man, that was vicious. He's turning the tables. Set up for the side rush and leg swing. These two teams have gone to Noticing uh, the feet on the other end of the ring. Dolph's focus. He is zoned in. It's going to be the end. Nope. That should have been three. Watch out for Dolph. Yeah. Dolph could finish things. Hit the mark with that one. Dominic was ready for that. Wheelbarrow hurt the run. A very nice takedown. Dominic gets the better there. Oh, oh man. High knee right between the shoulders. Hammering down on the knee. Familiar territory from 
Mysterio. Splash connects. Dawson right on land. Two. And he makes the save for his team. God damn it. Oh, great counter. Perfect position. Here we go. And sent right into the corner. Systematic attack on that arm. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Right now, Dolph needs to tap into that reserve tank if he wants to truly show the world how good he is. Here we go. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. Look at this crowd! It's Someone do a goddamn finisher, would you please, for the love of God? He's burying elbows for a signature or something. Jesus Christ, guys. And he's going for the pin. This could be it. Please stay down now, Ray. Finally. The victory tonight. I'm just glad that the match is over. I didn't care who won at this point. And the, okay, their name Robert is the Dirty Dogs. All right. Dolph Ziggler, Dirty Dogs. Dolph Ziggler with the finishing touches on this one. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can Dogs study. Dogs on Raw tonight. That was a four-star match, all right. Next up we have, I don't, I don't remember what I said. Great, another fucking tag team match. Only this time it's the tag team champions versus a potential contender for the tag titles. In the case of RK Bro versus Alpha the Academy Viper or whatever the hell the name here. is. Let's quickly get through the entrances here. <coughs> a cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to fight. Who cares? Alpha can me out. And this tag team match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want the win bad tonight, and they'll fight hard to get it. Yeah, these superstars look like they're at all this rate. I don't think I'm going to get any over. further than through the NXT Viper at this point. Out. Which should be fine, because just as long as I'm through the Monday and Tuesday shows, then I don't have to uh, potentially try to do anything for this until Wednesday. <coughs> and he was ready for... Because on the other hand, the thought in my head is to try to do each show on the given day of the calendar. So to go live with some of this basically each day, regardless of what else I already may or may not plan to stream on any given day for games and whatnot on the channel. On here, Twitch, or on YouTube for that matter. So. Look at this. He's 
staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. They need to be aware of a count out right now. He's in the ring already, the ring idiot. Goes, a perfectly placed target. Hits him with the counter. Larry. Orton with great ring awareness. Turned that one around. Catches a punch. He gets tagged in. Here comes Riddle. <clears throat> oh, <it> just <coughs> so much damage to the body. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Oh, just in case the first you didn't hurt, there's another. From the top. Time to go for a ride. Explosive suplex. Yeah. Double under. Randy Orton gets him back. Oh, I ran in there. Orton so evasive. from Gable. That takes him down. Gable on the receiving end. There's the tag. Oh, man. Chad Gable not looking so good. Gable was still at full health, or I mean, uh, a little bit full health there, and he's tagging out. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Not. Well, Randy's doing all the heavy lifting for the tag champs. Ooh, stiff punch. Punch connects. Pitch. Perfect drop kick. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. His foot's under the ropes, or it was. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Looking wobbly in the corner. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. This is not good. Butterfly suplex. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. That was brutal, and now the blood is flowing from Randy Orton's face. Drop kick! Wow! Oh, look at this! The power! Scoping oh, ended here! Oh, that was close! This match continues. So he used the world's strongest slam as his signature, I guess. 
just carried like a rag doll here. Right across the larynx. Has the leg trapped. Fisherman suplex. Orton gets the better there. Yes, he is. Two from the top rope. His opponent on the top rope. Are you kidding me? RKO! Nothing Otis can do after that. Cover here! And Gable's going to break it. And the ref was still counting with his hand on the rope there. So if Gable hadn't broken that, that would have been a three then. Otis just ragdolled to the outside. In control here with a swinging neck breaker textbook. Two. And a reversal by Otis. Oh, oh it is. And Otis is on the offense at this crucial moment of the match. Yeah, the Viper is genuinely in trouble here. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. The hell are you doing, dude? Classic Orton. Finally, the tag, victory. the tag team champs. Here are the your win. winners, the Viper, Randy Orton, and Riddle on the And great, uh, the women's tag team. The finishing touches on this match for the nice. win. Three and a half stars, so a great match, apparently. Next up, we got... Tommaso Ciampa versus Shelton Benjamin. One of the most controversial, ruthless superstars Any, in recent and, WWE uh, history. And Tommaso is the current the NXT following champion. The contest right. is scheduled for one fall. Making well, before the, the next show, we're going to have to Milwaukee, vacate that Wisconsin, title because he's on Raw and then crown a new NXT champion on the, on the next show, NXT then. NXT champion, Tommaso Because we can't be having the NXT title no on Raw, what we need it defended him, on NXT. Champa's as tough as they come. Yeah, we've seen Champa go from that. Shut up, announcers. Shelton Benjamin is a true legend, and he's ready for action. And his opponent, accompanied by Cedric Alexander from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. This is incredible. Good, who cares?
And we're underway with the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin. And if ever a nickname was earned, it's Shelton's. He's the most multifaceted of superstars you're ever going to meet. Grappling, strikes, he can do it all. The guy's a legit five-tool player. Truly one of the toughest measuring sticks there is today in WWE. But tonight, he faces an opponent so cruel, so vindictive, that he earned himself the nickname, The Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. A name befitting someone with Ciampa's singular focus and passion in the ring. Nothing distract. Flying! He misses the target! Short flight, but a rough landing. attack Benjamin answers back really just laying it in carefully placed stop to the arm right to the kidneys from behind In game what would be time, your game please. plan, Corey? I think Champa's most kick. glaring vulnerability is the possibility of injury. Heck, he once had to vacate the NXT title due to need for surgery. I'd say focusing your attacks on Champa's limbs could clear a path to victory. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. Perched up top. He reverses it. Champa lining him up oh, with a turnbuckle. Shelton Benjamin found the secret to anti gravity. My goodness. He took an air bump. If he, does, he tries to do his. Set up in the corner of the ring. What a collision! And that yep. exemplifies why shoulders down. But that's not going to be three yet. Wow! Somehow Chamber yeah. finds a way to kick out. He is simply refusing to stay down. Oh, check out this pop. Still in this. Oh, here it I'm thinking Shelton's gonna get the win here at this point. Great wherewithal from Ciampa. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, oh, kick right to the spine. Oh, unloading a big kick in the back. He's struggling a bit here. It was night. nearly over that right there, which would have been nice. I'll give you that. So we can we'll move on to the next match here. Since it's it about six minutes to one, one here.
doesn't say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Some of the shine is coming out the gold standard at this point. I bet you're proud of yourself for that one, aren't you, Byron? And another rope yeah. break, just what we wanted. Soon to be former NXT champion, one who's right debut then. Ciampa! And so it's Champa walking away victorious. Champa wins here tonight, but he'll never feel good about what he's done to get here. Three and a half stars, another great match. I think this is the main event, but I... No, wait, no, it's not. God damn it. Another tag team match. I gotta change the uh, match the tables. Of New York God damn it. City, I'll try to remember Priest to do that uh, off stream Bond here. But about to unleash... U.S. champion teaming with, the I believe, the Raw Women's Champion of the Village. I think. Introducing first from New York, New York. In, term, in, in terms of our universe, pounds. our universe mode here. WWE United States Champion, Damian Priest. Damian. Yep, the Rollins champion. The man. The WWE Universe on its feet for Becky Lynch. Let's go. All right, that's it. Yeah, we know it's Becky Lynch. Let's get on with it. Hey, it's party time. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, Angelo Dawkins just became very uncool. Yes. And then his partner. <clears throat> Listen, Tamina's not going to waste your time. She's just going to yeah. punch you in the mouth and fight you. To both worlds, it's time for mixed tag match. Driven down with an elevated flatliner. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Systematic attack on that shoulder. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Stopping every single part of his body. Dawkins with the reversal. Oh, blow to the bread basket. He's a projectile now. Comes Byron. Oh, Look at the three. Ah. It is the Outsiders Edge. Oh. This match grinded him down a little. Right now he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here, or I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. 
He missed there with that, uh, with that attempt to knock him off the apron. Slam. He tags out, which means it's now time for the women to compete. Bam! What a slap! Uh -uh. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Into the corner. This can't be good. Right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. <laughs> Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh. This could do it. And she's not. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Yeah. Up on the turnbuckle now. Yeah. Counter from Tamina. Bill ripped the button. Counter by Becky there. Now look at Becky. Manhandle slam. Off into the pin. Yelling at the ref is enough to make him stop counting, apparently. has a signature here. We're gonna take a trip south of him. Shocker shots there. Kicks out. He still has life. Both competitors. Kind of wish that was the end of the match. To keep this match going. Next. The suspense this crowd is feeling. Is so we can try to book and get through NXT before I have to call to it back. a stream here. Thank you. Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why though, Michael. 
she seemed to have Tough for her. Sensed in. Tamina gets out of hands. Taken down to the canvas. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Tamina about to flip. End of the line for Becky. Well, that was a bit weird. Over. Shoulders down. Tamina just pinned the Raw Women's Champion. All right. Here are your winners, Angelo Dawkins and Tamina Snuka. An amazing mixed tag match, apparently. Which I'm gonna. Okay, it's still not the main event yet. Great. That's nice. Well, at least it's two great wrestlers here. And Finn Balor and Kevin Owens. And KO's coming out first to stun Here the world. Comes KO. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 200. I'll try to get through these entrances quickly so we can try to get through Raw here in a reasonable amount of time. The Prince. Because at this rate, I'm pretty sure that I won't even get to NXT at this point. Because I do have to himself. vacate the NXT title before we even get to the and NXT show. From Bray, County Wicklow. Which I might have to do the NXT show like at some point. We've seen many At some faces point on Monday, now, since he first which it is currently WWE, Monday, it's like 106 or now. That is new take no so it would be like after work at some point Finn after Ballard. I've stopped. Byron, I know you have thoughts on this change of attitude. Well, Balor claims he wasn't able to be true to himself for a long time in WWE until he became the Prince. Now, I don't know what to think of this more callous Finn, but then again, I can't argue with the results he's produced. The already dangerous Balor has certainly become even more Vicious is embracing his prince persona. We'll see how he approaches this competition tonight. From way up, oh. down. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. Oh, there's a response against Finn. Oh, foot just stomping down. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. <laughs> Impressive counter by KO. <laughs> Finn Balor loves to pick up the pace in a match like this. Corey, will that benefit him here tonight? Oh, it's been a benefit his whole career. Why stop now? If Balor can actually succeed in picking up the pace and controlling it the way he wants, I don't see why not. What now? Oh, not to the belly. Cover. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Go for the run. The follow-away slam. It's a pretty even match so far. Uh-oh, second row. Nobody home. Okay, oh, missed there. Down with a sling blade. Basement drop kick. position to be in right now. Down on the windpipe. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Splash! Picture perfect. And that's why Owens... And he goes for the pin. One, two. Finn Balor finds a way to stay in this. He's determined to now keep this for the stunner, Kevin. Going. That's Looking it. For the victory. Two. Somehow he kicked out. Not God enough damn. for the three count because the desire of Finn Balor is unprecedented. Oh, it just ended so many matches with that, but not today. He saw it coming from Owens. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. 
perfect predicament right here. Oh, oh Jesus. Side. He's looking a little weary now. This is where endurance becomes so important Whoa. in the late stages of the match. Oh, an exploder suplex. Thought he was going to throw him onto the stairs. Owens is holding nothing back. Piercing. Now we throw oh. into it. Five. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop Six. it. Yeah. Balor retaliates. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Placed in the corner. Oh, impressive counter. And Finn was ready for that. Golly, that sounded rough. Balor's lost momentum here. Finn Balor's under the gun. Oh, it's gonna happen. I'm surprised that move beat, beat Balor. All right. Hey, at least the match is over now. For this young man. And we what can get on to, to the next one. What's going to happen battle. here? Respect to both competitors. And this I love. This I absolutely All right. love. Apparently Balor and KO are buddy buddy here. Career, Corey. All right. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. Hopefully we get to the main event, which we know is a fatal four-way. Nope, still not. God damn it. Hopefully this is a quick one. And here comes the multi-time world champion. There's Edge with Beth Phoenix in tow. Yes, we know it's Edge. The Hall of Famer. Wow, feast your eyes. A one of a kind Croatian Titan, ready to stomp out the opposition. And his opponent from Kingsboro, Massachusetts. What? Superstar with a big chip on his shoulder, Dominic Dijakovic. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. And Edge has been completely laser focused since coming back to WWE after nine years at shoulders down for the count. It's going to take more than that to keep him down. This match is not going to end so soon. Taking flight. He paid for that one. Oh man, big time. Miss. Uh-oh, this is... Edge might get an early three count. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. That hit connects from Edge. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. And your mouths are winning with... And he very quickly counters. Flattened with a downward spiral. A uh, timely counter by Dijakovic. Stomping. 
to get your thoughts on what it'll take to come out on top against Edge here tonight. Patience will pay dividends here. Edge has a tendency to let emotions get the best of him, and once they do, it's only a matter of time before he slips. To take down an explosive competitor like Edge, you have to keep your cool and bide your time. Eventually, Edge's frustration will get the best of him. Single leg drop kick caught him. Oh, God, that hurt. Locked in tight. Uh oh. I think he's gonna tap out. Maybe not. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. And that may have just shaken Edge's focus. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Dijakovic's attack gets reversed. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. Hard-hitting match here between the two. That's insane! Bobby Corkscrew moves up! Apparently that's one of his signatures, I guess. Hoping to end it here! This is it! Two! It's off the pin at two! This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Feast your eyes. Will this be the end? Edge it's serious. Cover! One, two. No, my, that was close. We know Edge is not <sighs> a man to stay down against any odds. We just saw proof of it. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move finished things. Dijakovic retaliates. Rescinded back to Edge. He almost threw Edge right onto the. Taking this outside. <laughs> this could be good. Oh dear. Hoist it up. Oh, it's targeting the stomach. In the ring, fellas. Just breaking down the opponent. He's getting pushed. Oh, get counted defensive. out. I personally don't care. Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Godbuster! Six! Six! He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Eight! Heads out of the ring. And with the, the, the referee's count here. Can you get in the ring and on this, please, Edge? Oh, right on point. Momentum really on Edge's side now. Edge cashing in on his game plan. Six. Drop kick. Beautiful. This match may be nearing its limit. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Eight. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh, come on, Edge. Take down. Two. And Dodge 
Dijakovic escapes danger. Just like that, Dijakovic finds a counter. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Up and down. Brutal. Dijakovic wins Here by count out. Winner, At least the match is over. Dijakovic! The ref completed his count, and we have a winner. When a match is decided by count out, it leaves you wondering where this match could have gone. Is this is finally the main event? Nope. God damn it. You know what? I'm actually going to play this so I can actually get the match fucking over with quickly. Because it's already like uh, 21 minutes after 1 here. My time. And I want to get through Monday Night Raw like at least soon enough to actually be able to do at least one thing before NXT show gets started, which I know I'm not going to be able to do on this stream now. Because Raw is taking way too long here. It's a team match scheduled for one fall. Yeah, one after the tag team championship, yeah. Now the nightmare is real. Rash. Well, you're looking at the future right here. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca. Oh, there you go. And here's Oscar. Welcome, the Empress of Tomorrow. And from Osaka, Japan. I'm gonna try to get counted out here. So. And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are Within itching reason. to make an impact on tonight's event. You don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Now, the or rather just Nikki get him. Out of the Take it out right to the midsection. Dropping down all their weight. Bianca expected that one. Ooh, wiped out with the crossbody. Just throwing their body. She's going out. Top up here. From the top, diving headbutt. Referee in position, gets the shoulder up. She's really looking for the early victory, but she didn't find it. Belair now trying to capitalize. Watch her set up in the corner. Paying it right back with a reversal. Impressive defense stops Ripley. Set straight into the barricade. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Situation accurately. Boom, right across the small of the back. No, <laughs> able to get the advantage here. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Arm trap, sit out, spy buster. A humiliating slap. With a strategically placed shot. She gets 
avoids the tag. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. She's taking some big hits here. of a second win now. <laughs> Enough already. Arm is trapped. <laughs> Hook up. Northern Lights suplex. Oh, wait a minute. There's more to come. All the way up and all the way down. Final cut. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. Stupid. God damn it. Ripley gets her back. <sighs> the counter system in this game sometimes. Seriously, it pisses me off. Oscar with a kick to the midsection. And a steam. Sliding hip attack. I think I'm just going to stay down here because I don't know if I'm going to win. Oh, I thought it was over, but again, 
Thanks a lot. Thank you. I had that countered, Nikki, you stupid. That got turned around on Nikki. Tag made, she's in. Get up, Rhea. God damn it. What the hell is even your finisher? Prism trap. Okay. That's it. Grounded upper body. What a shitty fucking finisher. Reversal there. Ah, uh, fireman's carry. Down and a sit-out spy buster. Oh, Rickman, this fucking thing. Look at this power. The prison trap is in. The EST may team. There's the save. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. One, two, three. Well, the tag she champs won. Now that now I think about it, I think it would be more entertaining for you guys if I just play every fucking thing. By this tag team. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. At this point. And I do know we still got a fiddle four-way somewhere. Here it finally fucking is. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to play as AJ then. Just to try to get this over with as quickly as possible here. Here comes the beast! Yep, yeah, Brock Lesnar, the WWE Champion. And this ought to be a, like a number one contenders match, so whoever beats the champ should be number one contender then. If, if anyone does. For Bobby Lashley. Yeah, Bobby Lashley, yeah, yeah. And here's who I'm playing Time as AJ Styles. Phenomenal. A terrific striker, a master purveyor of high flying innovative offense. AJ Styles <coughs> has competed at this level for decades. Such a special and athlete from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal AJ Styles. All way. Here we go. Finally, the final match of a Rock. Here. Only about an hour and a half in, give or take. No count out, no disqualifications. Those are the rules in this fatal four-way with Brock Lesnar, The Miz, Bobby Lashley, and AJ Styles. These gladiators appear ready for war tonight, and they have to be if you want to earn victory in this one. The hostility between all four of these superstars is palpable. All want to destroy one another. He is a little bit elbow after elbow. Looking for the right pin. Impressive one count, but still very early. Miz escapes damage. Oh, Lashley with good timing on the reversal. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Planet face first. And Zagiri finds his back. Corey, what can be the deciding factor in this? It sounds cliche, but you need eyes in the back of your head. You don't know who's going to drop the hammer and turn your heads out at any moment. No disqualification means if it's not nailed to the floor, you can be used as a weapon. It's like you 
paint a picture with your analysis. Seated drop kick. Ooh, turning all over their opponent. Great response to AJ there. Oh, here connects. He's lost some of his win now. Side headlock applied. Ooh, and a right hand for good measure. Now we're stunned outside the ring just like Bobby. Right onto 
just dead lifting right chair. there. The power. Super oh. human. Okay. Oh, looking for the win. Look at the bridge, too. One, two. Kicks out. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. There's return fire on AJ. so desperately need right now. Tough spot for the Miz. Reality setting in. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, look at this. Oh, fucker. Oh, kick right in the back. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. This is getting out of control. The Miz, the Miz has seen better days. that they'll only ever be second best. Here it comes. Oh, the Miz had it made it over yet. Left side oh. down. Like being manhandled by a bear. Oh, a drop plus stop to that. Lesnar fuses short, ready to explode. Oh, he knew what was coming. Climbs back inside. The pillars of this building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. Okay, Jace. Great wherewithal. God the damn count. it. That will get your attention. Check out this power. Come on, AJ, wake up. Bobby can taste Miz, it now. do something There's stupid. Two, three, Miz, like you're an idiot. Well, I guess Lashley's Here number one contender. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. A truly stunning performance to win this fatal four-way match. At least we're finally done with Monday Night Raw. And it's only like 18 to 2 here. So. We can finally set up what we need to do for NXT next time. Which means, first, we have to remove a couple of champions who are and we also have to crown NXT women's tag team champions as well because we needed to remove uh, someone uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott or S Swerve Scott I guess he's called because he's an AEW so we can't have him as a North American champion at this point so we're gonna have three title matches on NXT the NXT title the North American title and the women's tag team championships then which means the first match is obviously Mandy Rose versus Dakota the Cruiserweight Champion will face Joe Gacy in a non-title. Braun Breaker debuts against Alexander Wolfe. Uh, we might make that for the North American title. Why the f- That's gonna have to change because Champ is not on NXT. And Swerve Scott, we're gonna have to try to fix that too. So yeah, we're going to have to change a couple of matches going into uh, yeah. this next time. So, with that in mind, I am, yeah, I am going to have to call it here just to be safe so I can start getting ready for work as I have to leave here like in an hour and 15 minutes to head out to work, so... 
Because I have to be at work by 3.30 here, so. So, with that in mind, everybody, thank you all so much for uh, checking this out. If you're seeing this on YouTube in a couple of days, please hit the like, subscribe to the channel. If I wind up uh, bringing this to YouTube or not, I'm not sure yet. But if you are seeing it on YouTube, then you already know that I did. For those that will watch this later on Twitch, thank you for doing so. Please, please click the follow button to, uh, to know when I go live here on Twitch. Like I said, I'm going to try to get through NXT uh, by no later than Tuesday morning after I get home from work. Before I lay down, before I wind up doing uh, Rubber Bandits with uh, Desert Nord and Joshi on Tuesday evening. At that point. Because, yeah, because I don't work Wednesday, so. <coughs> on Wednesday morning, so. So, yeah, so I'm going to try to get through as much of this as I can next time I wind up streaming this. And I'm going to try to do so, uh, hopefully, before NXT uh, tonight. Since it is, well, actually, Raw tonight... I want to try to do this tonight again, but but as it is, we'll just have to play it by ear on when I have energy and when I have time. But until then, I will see you guys in hopefully the next day or so to try to pick this back up again. And as I said, we're going to have to do the NXT title. We're going to have to decide... Hold a match to decide an, a new NXT champion, a new North American champion, and finally have uh, NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. And then after that, it will be off to AEW Dynamite to see what's going on there. And then also after that to Ring of Honor, which is actually the show that I'm in the universe mode pretending that I own, so... Which is also the one that I actually compete in with my personal character, which I might as well end the stream with showing you my personal character here. And show you generally what he looks like. His name is Eddie Andrews. Now, obviously, Andrew is my first name in life, but... Akin to Shawn Michaels, that not being his real name, I chose to use my first name as my last name and then make up a first name, much like Shawn Michaels. So, and I wound up settling on Eddie, Eddie Andrews for myself, so. And as you can see the two logos, I actually appear in Ring of Honor and New Japan. So, there will be two shows that I potentially compete on, so. But if you also see my character's shirt, it says AEW, Ring of Honor, and NXT. Which, those that's supposed to represent um, what shows my Ring of Honor is going to be working with talent with in the future. And, and, and those shows that I'm willing to let my talent go perform on. So, as it is, I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys, like I said earlier, hopefully uh, in about 24 hours for some more of this, just to try to get NXT out before Tuesday, because I'm already going to be doing a stream on Tuesday of, of something else, so until then, I will see you guys later. Have yourself a great one. Be well, be safe, and may the force be with you, because we damn sure need it. Later, guys.